Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully I'm not too echoey. Do let me know if I am and I'll just be quieter, I guess, or move the mic closer to myself. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I think it's actually been nearly a month. Uh, but I've been pretty busy doing bits and pieces of housework, being away, etc, etc. But we're back. We're back in Tamir. Um, no webcam. I'm currently redecorating the room. So the, you know, when it gets in about two hours time, the, um, the light will be coming through the window behind me and I basically won't be able to see anything and I would just be in full glow in the webcam. So we're not doing that today. But there was there was no interest shown for this. Not that I asked, but I thought I would install. As you can see, there's a picture of an Xbox controller on the screen and it'll map my controls. So given that we're doing no all wheel drive a diff lock and I vary my uh, acceleration. You can see when I use the accelerator, the intensity of which I'm pressing the trigger changes and is reflected there. So I thought, you know, that, that might be that might be handy and stuff, and you can see how much I twiddle the thumbsticks while I'm driving around, which which is a lot. Uh, I don't play on Xbox, no, I'm on PC, but I play using an Xbox controller. But Because I, I am I am on the PC, so look. There you go, I'll use the mouse and you can see the keyboard controls show up instead. So, a bit of a bit of a hybrid. But anyways, last time, Tamir, we explored the map. Um, we, I think we st I stole some bricks from over here and took them elsewhere or something. It genuinely might be this one over here. Um, and we started, I think we did a couple of little things. Oh yeah, we did the, we did the contract to take the gear up here, like metal beams and stuff, to open up the gateway to quarry. There and there and there. Does anybody actually use the other gateways? I don't know. I always just use the one, to be honest. Maybe I use the others like once or twice, but that's it. Maybe it's like a little hack that from the ruined warehouse it's quicker to come in there and then back through up there. But anyways, yes, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to start off taking it easy. Trademark. Um, doing a couple of tasks, get back into the rhythm. Because it's been a little while since I played played properly especially without these kinds of controls so we're going to start with SOS by rescuing the Tiger uh, I did initially think oh maybe I can just put a van body thing on the back of the truck but then I wouldn't have enough fuel so here we are with the trailer so let's get going so yeah we'll do a few tasks to start with and then uh, I'll look in and see what um, Come on, use words. What contracts might be available for us to do? Eight gear gearbox, that's the high range gearbox. Every, pretty much every high range gearbox is eight gears. There's no point in me using the off road gearbox on this truck because I don't have access to diff lock. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't benefit. I can just, I benefit a little bit, but not as much as, as me being able to just drive at a at a higher speed. It allows me to get more power. I'm glad that in the way round I've done this, I've put a, f a fuel tanker on the truck because I think it is heavier. So rather than hefting it behind myself. Got it on the drive wheels, and it is paying dividends. Oh, that was a. There's uh, some big, big bounces, big bumps. Come on now, come on. Alright, let's reattach for the meantime. That's the difficult bit done, I think. 
Right, am I going to be able to go this way? It's quite far. Hmm. I don't know, approaching from the other way is fairly steep. And uh, if you watch my How to Get the Az Off 6 where I do this basically in a fleet star. I'm surprised I didn't take damage with the bounce. Well, I, I mean, it's not like damage is disabled because I, I have suspension damage, but maybe because it was quite an even bounce. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fairly rough ground here. Even the winch itself isn't that capable of pulling the truck through. Oh, it's horribly deep here, isn't it? Oh, well, it's going to be incremental at best. All right, we just heft that a bit closer. Fact. I'm going to do it from the front like that. Because when you get so close, the power just sort of drops off. If I connect from the front bumper, it'll drag it all the way in. Like so. It's not a bad... Uh, I'll have to write that one down. Come on, get out of that muck. I feel like my wheels are buried in it. Sheesh. But yes, uh, Raptors. A lot of Snowrunner's physics don't really make sense. Take a drink while we're winching in. That's uh, it's at a bit of an angle, that. Oh, it's just uh, it's not very pleasant ground, is it really? Did I try the new game Expeditions? I did. It is not like SnowRunner. If you're thinking it's maybe more of the same, it certainly is not. Man, I think I have now too much weight. You said the lander winching. I mean, this area is is pretty bad. Oh, I've gone too far. I don't really have the ground clearance. Oh, jeez. All right, back that way. Maybe taking the alternate route was better. Well, at least I know I'm not going to be. Uh, really pulled backwards because I mean look I mean it's, it's wheel it's wheel deep return to the fog yeah I mean it's all right at the well it's still a bit hazy but yeah the fog lands uh, all right Let's see how this does get that back wheel to drive it broke free, but immediately just started spinning. <laughs> yeah, luckily Expeditions wasn't supposed to be like a sequel or anything. It's, uh, I mean, they described described it as a spin-off, which, yeah, they were right to do that. Um, I'm not sure how long they'll support it realistically. I don't anticipate it'll be 
really more than a year. I don't know. It, de it depends how they change things. It is a it's a, a very wheelie deep. Oh, this so I don't have to make two trips. Snowrunner players will do everything in their power to avoid making two trips. The classic thing to there would have been to have got the trailer stuck on that one tree, of all things. Uh, oh, we've fallen into the ground again. Oh. Oh well. Can I can I get free of here, please? No. Ah, grr. Ah, oh, that tree's more than close enough. Have I been looking into the PTS for season thirteen? No, I have not. Ah. Oh. I don't have time to make a video on it. I can look, I can check it out, but Crikey. it's not, uh, it's not an optimal video making time at the minute. I'm already working on a big one. Um, although, I mean, that's trend chasing is too tiring for me. <laughs> um, can I use the Tager? As, a, as an anchor. I bet I can. Yeah, of course I can. Because obviously I don't have to move it anywhere. I just have to be close enough. Is the, so season 13 is on the PTS already. And I'm like 9 hours into season 12. Uh, do you get the struck as a reward in this mission? Or just money and XP. Oh, you do get the struck as a reward. Uh, dead bread. It is a reward. So it is worth doing. Oh, oh well, well, I mean, uh, not close enough. I mean, you could just move the pivot, you know. That's... Doing that is the Mudrunner way, so, but it doesn't work. Right, oh, my days. There we go, right. Uh, what you want to do here, because everything's at zero, is repair it first. What is it on the region you start? Yeah, uh, so this is in the first map of Tamir, so this is the Drowned Lands. It's, uh, there's the garage. Come out of the garage, turn left, turn left again. Follow this road, and it's over here. Watch out for this bridge, as it's broken. Uh, you do the repairs first, because if you put the fuel in, um, it'll start draining out because the fuel tank's broken. Uh, Ta da! And if I hit change truck, I can now get in the Tega if I wanted to. But that truck has all wheel drive and diff lock always on, which is dirty and disgusting. Uh, right, so get rid of that trailer. This has no more use here. So it's, um, I guess it's back to the garage for now for that. Um, right. Where's my other trans star? I'm gonna go and do fallen bricks. Oh, there's the fog. That didn't take long, did it? What are we? Less than 10 minutes in. I've got my uh, counterbalance of cement. Because I, uh, I need the cargo space for the bricks. Come on. I only need the, um, the counterbalance because I've got the silly crane that I'm going to need, but it's very heavy. So we put the cement weight over the back, of right over the back of the truck. 
But as you can see from the little graphic, um, what the trigger is illuminated in a, you know, probably what, 50% grey? As opposed to 100% white. So you can sh see how I vary my throttle input. For, uh, for getting through difficult ground. Uh, do let me know if you find that to be useful. If not, I'll just switch it off. Oh yeah, I'll put the headlights on. There we go. Now we can see. Oh wait. It's awful rain. Um, where's the best place to get across here? It was just after the bridge, wasn't it, for this kind of truck? Oh no, that's... Oh no, oh no. Oh, and we've got a bit of a tip going on. When am I touching season 13? God, I don't know. Um, maybe on Friday? Gosh. I don't know. I'm barely, I've barely played season 12. Let's... Oh, so I got baited then. Use the uh, use the crane as a bit of a prop. Oh, I just can't go forward at all. Just keep. Ah, oh, the front is just digging in. Something fierce. Oh yeah, can I normally winch to the bridge? Not if it's broken. Why am I going over? Why am I not going over the bridge? Look, look at the bridge. Bridge is horrible. Fortunately, though, I've dug myself into a hole, for which I can't reverse out of because I'm propping myself up. Oh, this will. Huh. Right, a bit more of a gentle slope. There we go. I wouldn't trust the uh, wheels to not slide off the wood, causing me to roll over. There we go. Either way, I'm across, and it stopped raining. You were hearing the Fords? Um, I'm pretty sure it's the ton of that's only in certain versions of the game. Um, about the Fords having a different branding, but I think that's been the case for several months already. I think Ukraine? Is where that's a thing. Yeah, the, I mean, the issue I had in the ditch though was the front wheel had dug down, and because there's no drive, it wouldn't can't push it out. Oh, Yaroslav, yep, yeah, he's, he's got the intel. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably, it might have even been like a year ago now that they actually, that that happened. Right. 
right. Um, approaching the crossroads. Am I just going straight across? Yeah, I guess I am. Speed and power. Let's not go dilly dallying in the mud. Let's just stick to the grass. Ah, there you go. There's the suspension damage. Least expected. Should be plain sailing for a little bit now. Ooh. Uh, anticipating mud. And then we're coming up to, what is it, the sawmill? Fairly soon. Oh, we'll be going there a couple of times. Oh no, we've got to do logging in this map. Ugh. The uh, apart from the logging, the aspects of Tamir I'm least looking forward to is the rift. Ah, uh, because conditions. Well, this initially there's getting into the map. Um, up that little cliffside road, but then there's also. The, the mud, which is quite deep. I think I've got to rescue a Tatarin at some point. And they are not lightweight vehicles. Um, I, one thing I did hear about Season 13, actually, is that it's one map. Fifty six hundred, that is a good point. I can use the fifty six hundred. I've taken out what did I take out? Well, the all wheel drive and diff lock. How am I not using waypoints or getting lost? I've a lot of hours in this game. On a new map I'll use waypoints every now and again. Um not to say I don't make mistakes when navigating, but typically I know where I'm going. Uh, hmm. Consider. That's how much lean there is. Oh, that's not too bad. I've had worse. Alright, can I get that? Can I squeeze that in that gap? Oh, it's like, look look at that, you'd have thought I had a license. Look at that. Uh, restore crane. Oh, I did the triangulation thing. Yeah, I was up here with the Viper size scanner. I should go up behind the house. Right, now this time in your wooden house, don't lose the bricks. What a, yes, $1,250. No worries, Sam. Safe travels, uh, right. Right, drown bricks. Oh, is that that one? Oh, well, that's really far away. Does the White Western Star have a crane? No, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Saving country bread isn't that up there? Yeah, we could uh, we could do that as we're over here. And what's what's lost in the rocks? While I'm over here, I'll try and do you know these. Oh, okay, take so take that up there. Then go there and come by there. Okay, lost in the rocks it is. 
Why do you get it from here? And then you have to deliver it there. What? Whatever. Right, all the way there and then turn right. Far end. Oh my god, I thought it was stuck. Right. Ooh, I was gonna say give it some, but I forgot there's a corner. Do you have to be a little bit careful on this road? As you may be able to tell, given all the rocks. Oh, geez. My trousers. Yeah, it's like Boulderville. Oh, jeez. Although, I mean, I've only got myself to blame if something happens because I'm driving in high gear. Hey Kim, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you are well. Right, that's the junction. So stay out of the mud as much as possible. It's quite bad in that little T junction. Keep the revs going. Yeah, pallet of cement. Pretty good ballast for this truck. Oh, that was, I was ready. I spun the camera ready for a quick winch. Uh, Kim, yes, that is showing. It's it's mapping my controls as they're happening. Um, looks like jet tire. Not sure what you mean there, Dustin. But the the most important thing I like about the is if I use the trigger, it glows with how much I'm actually. Depressing it. Alright, uh, how are we going to grab this vehicle? Oh, oh no, I'm not using the jack of all treads um, in this run. So I started before it existed, so I'm going to, I'm sticking as I am, at least for uh, these two trucks. Like the Transtar and the Ford. Right, let's try ooh, try and tow it over here. Get it behind us. I mean, I could just adjust myself. And then I'll try lifting it straight up. So there. Shouldn't really have any issues lifting. Or I might just have to drag it up the cliff. Yeah, I'll drag it up the cliff. Am I doing the right control for up? I am. It's, it is just that bad. Right. Store the crane, so we want to, if possible, try and get through here. Cheeky shortcut. I mean, it's already in a in a rough state. Oh, do I have to fix it? Um. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm taking it to the repair station, aren't I? Oh, and then is it to take it back? Back to the farm. How bad is this path? 
Well, let's find out. Um, alright, that's not great. Oops, sorry, it's splash the table. I'm going to attach the winch there. I don't know how deep this water is, and I don't want to roll over. So we'll use, oh, sugar. Use it a bit like a rope bridge. Back, no, back. Reverse. There we go. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. Oh, it's gonna get a it's gonna get a bonk on the rocks here. Come on, you got this. Okay, it's good to ooh. I was gonna say it's good to know that route's quite straightforward. That bit's a bit uh No, I decided I try the road because I might have to come through with a larger vehicle and it takes me to the same place anyway oh did you see the wheel bend then oh, uh, it's a bit too wide I would like to have it on board because it makes things easier to manage but I've got my cement so I'll just tow it behind me instead. Um, okay, keep to the right. Go, avoid the majority of the mud. Honestly, if you've not tried this truck before, seriously, give it a go. It is a lot of fun. No wheel drive and diff lock trucks are more capable than you'd imagine. Mostly because uh, trucks performance tends to come down more on uh, the tires they have equipped rather than uh, what add-ons they have. God, it's boulders. Let's see if I can just like reverse it into the box. I can. There we go. Fixed it. Um. So is there? No, there's no secondary task. It's no runner physics. Mate, Looney to scratch their heads. Right, grab the con. Why is... What were they doing with the actual mission placement? Alright, we'll put it here. Where's the vehicle? There. Oh, okay. So is it going back there? No, it's going to the railway station. <laughs> okay. Alright, so come out of here, take a left then. Let's take another left. Oh, and we're not going that way. Uh, I will need some fuel though. Only used half a tank. It's pretty good. Maybe I should do a thing of uh, like a rescue series where people send me their saves and say this truck is stuck. Oh, I can't. I can't rescue it. I can't get it out. And then I rescue it with like this or something else. <laughs> like go full wrecker. Uh, oh, hang on, before we drive into there, it's a better spot to go through on the right. Is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just a bit of a long road, that's all.
Oh, this I've just thought of something I need to add to my script. Tap in the gear button a lot. Get you through the gears. So it's just like video thoughts I'm having to make amendments. While doing a stream, driving in a di different uh, save. Should I buy the tire DLC? Um, I mean, for oh, okay, right. So for scouts, it's really good. And then I think for... What's the category? I'm just going to jump to the garage a minute. Uh, for the highway trucks and heavy duty trucks, you probably don't really make many gains. You just get a slightly wider tire. Then the majority of heavy trucks that use like mud tires, you get um, I suppose it's six more options from just the mud tire category alone, all of which are wider, and I think they're better. Um, the same applies to off-road. Um, I'm not sure if the Jack of All Treads equivalent of the... Oh, what's it called? What truck has it? The UOD tire? I'm not sure if the DLC equivalent is better, but it's probably wider. Um, what is it like in pounds? It's like two pound. That's, yeah. I'd say it's worth it. So if we preview the step. Also, it means um, with the DLC, if you start a new game, you can actually just buy any of the tires. They're not level locked. So you can start at level one and, and buy off-road tires if you have money. Which, which I guess saves a bit of time. Um, yeah, so if you look at UOD, so the bottom of the tire, the bottom of the tire lip there, just lines up with that. We look at the ATMD. Look how much wider it is. It's going to give you more platform stability. Which is what Dustin was saying about earlier. So, yeah. I mean, I'd go. I, If I didn't have it, I would buy it. And then you've got uh, OM. Yeah, you've got lots of different varieties. Um... I don't think there are any for chain tires, but that doesn't really matter. But yeah, stocks and heavies. If I um, show a heavy truck. Yeah, you've got... Right, so you, ordinarily I go with the MHS2. You know, nice big chunky tire. If I go to these, except the 4 and the 6, they're about the same, but I think they, they are slightly better in the ratings. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the the ratings, Kim, but yeah, the, the second, the number two, um, tends to be best. But what they've done with these, with the MHS tires, what do you mean, what's wrong with the sound? It's, I'm in a menu. Um, these are on a scale from better in the dirt to better in the mud, with the middle being about 50-50. So, yeah. I I go for it. There, it's not an, it's not an expensive thing. Right there we. Go. Oh, hang on. Right, this is a bit of a. Oh wait, I know where I am. I got stuck here last time, didn't I? I think I think I rolled over or something. I tried to shortcut across all those boulders and got uh, and got stuck. Speaking of getting stuck, we're stuck. Ooh, look at that bump. Alright, um, and then it's left when I get to the end of here. Too quick over this rise. I'm gonna take a cheeky shortcut over this grass. Oh, 
on the way to the loaf. What's your favorite bread, everybody? What is your favorite bread? Right, let's jump across. We'll get it turned around, we'll pull out the loaf. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Morrison's salt and pepper. Oh, that's, that's that is peak. Oh no, what have I done? I'm not going to be able to actually drive myself out of here. Oh no. Alright, winch to the front. <laughs> Luckily, there are some nice friendly trees able to help out. This is, this is, whoa! Oh my god, does that actually, like, raise the front up? This is my favorite bread. Uh, can I not? Oh wow, the loaf is heavy. The loaf is dense. Pumpkin bread. Ah, that was not a good thing to do. Oh, there could have been... Uh, oh, that was... I could have had a very big physics issue then. I could have been sailing through the stars. Alright, back to the hangar. Which means I've got to cross everyone's favourite ditch. Again. I think a nice add-on, actually. Or a nice set of add-ons. Would be ballast weights. You know, like a tractor has. You know, if a tractor's towing a heavy trailer, they put the ballast weight on the front. You know, about a ton. The front of the front wheels. So that the tractor's weight doesn't pivot just on the rear axle. Why can't we get ballast? You know, um, heavy cranes have ballast. Why can't we get truck ballast? You see them when, um, you know, they have the heavy... The heavy cargo trucks in convoy. And, um... When there's, you know, like, two-by-two two tractor units in a line. And they'll be connected front to back by, like, the tow bars. And they'll have ballast on over the saddle to actually, you know, keep the weight on the drive wheels. I think that would be a solid um, addition for Snow Runner. Right, let's try this bridge. I mean, oh, it's such an awkward angle. I mean, my bike wheels aren't on the plank, so that's not a great start. I'm trying to tow a vehicle at the same time. Like a glove. some power to get up this hill. Oh, the fog's come back. Wonderful. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, the loaf is just being like a big sled. Its suspension is broken. So all the bodywork is dragging in the mud. Slowing me down. Ooh. 
which might actually be a problem getting back across here. It's where the mud is thickest. Love doing love things. I mean, the love isn't bad. Oh no. Oh, I think I just saved that. Just by steering to the right. Caught up to us, the ground's a bit firmer. All the drink while that's winching up to us. You can do it. You can make it. It's just relying on one wheel drive. Oh. Oh no, I don't quite have the. Uh... No! I don't want to use the winch. I will push myself to the road if I have to. Oh, no, I know what I should do. So what's happening is... Oh, I'm in low gear. Oh, I was about to say what was happening before. But it doesn't matter. There was a bit too much weight on the wheels. So... Uh, they couldn't rotate. But, um... Basically, driving the crane head into the ground wiggling the truck a little bit unsettles the, the ground meaning you can move again there we go I think we're making uh, good good progress on the task so far look at the look how um this suspension <laughs> it's, it's, it's properly been slammed, hasn't it? When uh, the upper third of the wheel is just entirely in the wheel arch. That's some serious modification. Not great for exploration, but you know, it'd be fine for regular roads. Oh, that's reverse. You don't want that. Wait, have I got one point of um, suspension left? Or is it actually just broken? Because it, No, it doesn't broken, it's not in red. I do. I have the fabled one point. That was lucky. Hang on, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a screenshot of that. One. <laughs> Alright, what was this? Lost bricks? Not drowned bricks, but... Oh my god, really? Wait, where are they? <laughs> Everyone's favourite place. One, one HP in a dream. Oh, I thought I was... Ah. Oh. I could have done that one on the way had I known it existed. That's, uh, that's annoying. That means I have to come all the way back down here for... No, we're not doing drown bricks until later on. I think what I'll do next is the drowned oil tank, which is here. Uh, I will swing by the garage. 
I might just unload the cargo outside of the garage, jump in and repair rather than getting a van body. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, I really do enjoy this thing. It's the it's the plucky little underdog because it's only a small truck and it accomplishes so much. It basically did Alaska for me. Right, let's unpack. Throw that off to the side. If you're wondering, despite the title, why some of these trucks are here, you can in fact remove the all-wheel drive and diff lock entirely to make them all-wheel drive compatible. And the Ford is already like that, so. So I have uh, a few more options the Paystar was added for its logging capabilities because basically the Ford and the Transstar are they're not very well suited to to logging, and it's uh, it's a bit agonising. So I got a bigger option. Right, let's hitch up. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Because the front of it is in the water. Oh yes, I forgot, you can't tow this thing from the back. No, that would be stupid. I don't want to do that. That side, if it's gonna behave like that. Eh, that'll do, it's close enough. Saves reversing into the bog to then struggle to pull the trailer out. Ah! <laughs> uh, if I remember rightly, you started that. That's just Ford only. Yes, started with the Ford only from Michigan. Um, the Apache hasn't even come out of the garage yet and didn't get much use in um, Alaska either by grabbing a few mountain upgrades in the mounting contest because th this and the four just couldn't get up there. Um, so it's, yeah, if it doesn't, if it has, if it doesn't have all-wheel drive a diff lock, it's fair game. Um, I expanded because I got bored of driving. Why don't I use the P16? Because it's got diff lock always on. Can't use it. It's got it's got diff lock always on. Debred. Those other trucks, um, diff lock is actually an option in the add-on menu in the truck, so you can. Uh, it's when under the truck it says available, you can actually remove it rather than switchable, which means it has it, but you can either turn it on and off while driving the truck. It's a, a small technicality, but uh, that's uh, that's all right. I mean, it really would have helped with the you know the high saddle trailers that you have to shift in Michigan and Alaska, but the the eight slot super heavy trailers of Alaska were were in fact towed by this truck here, um, which just looked ridiculous because it's so small. In the the pin height when. Uh, when not attached to the, a truck, the pin height of the trailer was basically level with the cab of the truck. And then it would slam down like a collapsing building onto the high saddle. I don't believe I have to be attached to this to deliver it, so I'll just tow it. 
my <laughs> my cement ballast. And it's not gonna stray very far from the hitch, so what they should do I mean they're not gonna do so you see the way the winch is connected to the tow hitch at the back is if you make your truck unable to tow a, a rear trailer like this, this should remove the hitch so it's obvious that you can't do it. And then say, you know, if I took the crane off, the hitch would return to show that I could then tow a trailer. You know, so you're not having to do crazy guesswork. Right, oh, can this do it? Or can this not do it? That's that's the sort of thing I would implement if I could. It would only have to be a quick visual thing. But then, you know, it needs to be separate for every truck. I don't know how much, it'd probably be quite a lot of work, but it would help the player. Alright, I think I can carry on going ahead. Ahead. Why am I towing it though? The mission. Um, river stream crossing, stream crossing. Either way, it's probably the same difficulty. Yeah, I can't attach physically to it because I have the the loading crane. Even though it looks like I probably could, it might actually be too close on this this occasion. Because the fuel tank overhangs the front wheels, but I wouldn't be able to tow any trailer. Maximum speed! <laughs> oh, it gave me... I got a huge rebound. Well, those wheels are all in the water, yeah. Come on, little shrub. That's an awful little dip, little ditch. Oh, okay, thanks for the damage, appreciate it. That did seem a bit random, I wasn't like bouncing around or anything. There we go. This way is safer than the other way. Yeah, I, th I couldn't quite remember what it was like. I thought, well, seeing as it was a bit shorter. Oh, isn't this fuel station really expensive? Yes, it is. But then, there's one in quarry straight away. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, the, I suppose though, if you don't have access to quarry, then this is your only option. Although it's not much of a drive to get back to the garage. Um, oh, I doesn't tell you when you click on them how much they cost. That's that's. See, wait, there are three fuel stations and the garage and a trailer store. In fact, two trailer stores. This map is resource rich. Um, so many things about bricks. Um, oh yeah, I'm actually near that one. Deliver it to the warehouse. Uh, help cable. Deliver it to the house. Hummer. Oh, I remember driving through there. I sort of thought that the road went this way. And then drove off this. And then waddled my way through the mud. Uh, oh! Get the Voron D to parking. Okay. Alright, well, we'll do Drown Bricks, and oh, that bit's awful for this truck. It really is. And then there's a fence, I think, the whole way around. Apart from there. Yay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, right, Drowned Bricks. 
Getting a, getting a fair shimmy on with these tasks. Until I think they're all done, and then I start doing contracts, and then more tasks appear. Like season 12 did. For those interested, I will hopefully this week be recording a bit more season 12 stuff. As it has been a little while, I have uh, the missions I'm going to do uh, already roughly planned out, and it involves using oh god, using the new atom. I am not optimistic about getting these bricks in one go. Uh, that's it. That's good. hang on. Oh no, okay. There's a lamppost straight ahead. Right, crane out back first. How far is the green box? It's pretty far. It's a bit like this the the one in Michigan where you have to get the cargo from off the cliff. I'm still rolling backwards. There you go, if you're rolling downhill with a handbrake on, put it in law. Oh my god, is the truck gonna book over? <laughs> A little bit more. That would be terrifying in the cab. Just feeling it rear up like that where there's nothing you can do. Come on, brickies. Am I able to get the neck down? I've also got gravity working against me for this kind of maneuver. That might be just, oh god, easier if I'm just at the top of the hill. I want to go forwards. Come on, the trans star. Yeah, what a beast! That's close enough. The little truck that could. Exactly. See, the advantage that this has over the Ford, apart from its much shorter wheelbase, is the ride height. I think the Ford would have really struggled with that one. As I am now struggling with damage, my suspension's nearly totaled again. Not even going particularly quickly. Um, aim for where there's a tree. To be honest, I might have the weight to just push my way across. There we go. Lovely stuff. Just gently applying the power until the traction bites, and you're away to the races. Sweet. Right, there's another mission done. Another 1600 in the bag. Right, so I've got... That's farm swim? Yeah. Oh, yeah, aren't there like a th four contests? Uh, eight minutes. Where do you... Where does it start? 
Where's container delivery? Swimming and sinking. Oh, well, these are going to have to be um, Apache jobs. Two fuel to the salt. Yep. Eight minutes. Rocking and rolling. <laughs> oh, okay. Lovely. Uh, right. How far away am I from the Hummer? Um. Oh, it's there. Yeah. This isn't the. Oh, that's a mission I have not accepted yet. If for a different Voron. Uh, how far away? I could get it out of the mud now. Kind of on the way. Or just, no, I'll just do farm swim first. Um, farm swim. The Voron D? Yeah. There will be a lot of winching in this one. Oh, fox come back. I wonder if the weather forecast is just perpetual fog every day. So, I mean, this this save is set to um, daylight only, like forever. So I wonder if the game is just then punishing me by saying, "All right, then, well, let's it'll always, always always be foggy." Don't worry, Felix Lane. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, I might. Um. Okay, straight on to the top of the hill, and then turn right. Those was kind of other ways to get through, but it'll be fine. Got it. Oh god! Oh jeez! I I've, I've, I feel like I don't want to go this way anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go this way. I went south so quickly. Uh, I think I remember this ditch uh, from a previous playthrough. Or can I just drive over the hill? I do, but I can't see. So, all right, we're going back the way I came. Oh, which means I've got to go through the bog the long way. Yay! Yeah, it's like <laughs> I think I got an Azov six stuck in there and just couldn't fathom why I couldn't move. All the weird angles that the ground is. So let's just um, not try and go through there with a less capable truck. I'll just cut the long way around. Oh man, should I had fog lights? Did that again, didn't I? Silly boy. Wiggle to freedom. Yes. The machine. But yeah, I hope the uh, the on-screen controller. Is actually of use. Might not be. I forgot it's there. I don't know. But, you know, whatever. Right, let's avoid these bold airs. Hopefully, the poor weather won't last too long.
Where's the turn? Oh, here it is. Welcome to hell. Someone has used mouse and keyboard. It's oh, well, good. Um, oh, my God, you drive mouse and keyboard? That's... Uh, Oh. Alright, I think... Is this supposed to be sort of like the alternate way through here? Uh. Oh, well, at least it stopped raining. I can now see the winch ahead. The winch ahead? The tree ahead, for which I can winch to. I'm not going to bother uh, bother about with uh, unpacking and see if I can move like that. It's just the ground's just generally too awful. So, hey O'Neill, it's been a while. Hope you are well. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is what it was like coming through here the first time, but in the other direction. Been really busy. Oh, I mean, same. Uh, same. But get in there. Hoping to have some cabinets set up by the end of this week and uh, get my old Xbox hooked up so I can maybe look at Titanfall. Uh, this was not the play. Uh, Xbox Titanfall again. Yeah, there's a reason it's a no damage. Mass and keyboard is punishment enough. Fair enough. Hey, you can play your own way. Uh, that'll be Titanfall 2, O'Neill. Now they're doing a Muir or a Muir. Oh, that's a band. Fun might be challenging. Yes, it is. A Moor can be very trying. Yeah, I just wish to say for Timefall 2. Uh, I wish there was like cross save. Because I, I have a lot of. I have a lot of time and hours in my Xbox um, thing with all the Titans maxed out for uh, frontier defense and whatnot. It was my entirely fish sticks North Star. <laughs> Don't mind me just winching through the bog. I do like a bit of frontier defense. But no, no cross save. No, you must do it all again. Um, my main back in the day was probably Legion. Is the only one that I have the 100 kill streak um, Titan skin for. Because it looks so good. Uh, Legion and Scorch. I was. I was a bit annoyed when they added the targeting laser for Scorch's um, thermite launcher, like the, the thermite cannon, because it meant you didn't really need as much skill to use it, and I, uh, I'd i become quite adept at uh, ranging with the thermite cannon. <laughs> I just, I just love it. This, it's the voice lines mostly. You know, recommend aggressive, sustained counterfire, which I will have to oblige. Oh, we're moving. No, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Do this from the other side. Just gotta get to the other side. Get on that embankment and pull it across. That'll be interesting. I 
I only really used Ronin in uh, Frontier Defense, just because you could Sword Koi the whole round. <laughs> Spark core ready. Oh, it's now I don't have to think about anything. Or you or you uh, you prime it, hits it, and there's nobody nearby for the next 20 seconds. Way wonderful. I did get pretty good with, um, oh, what's it called, Monarch in Frontier Defense. Nearly, nearly winning, oh no, nearly winning my first Master Difficulty Frontier Defense with Monarch with a single uh, Titan. As in, a single, like, one, only one uh, actual Titan of mine used. That is not a good angle for towing a truck. Uh, that's not a good tree. I lost my monarch near the end and basically the two fell apart. Like, no! Just defending my little life. Right. Oh, yes. Let's put that into law. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful for frontier defense just because of how many titans there are. My, I... <laughs> hang on, am I doing this right? Just jack the saturation because that's how I actually like to look at the game because trees are green. Um, yeah, this seems. Uh... Oh, it doesn't help. I've got the cement ballast <laughs> really in the wrong place there. I should move it forward. Let's see if I can drive. I should stop seeing if I can drive. <laughs> yeah, some of a, a funky angle. Uh, right, let's go. Here, if we can, please. Cowboy truck. Oh, yeah. We caught a Voron. No, oh, that. Alright. I've just said how my ballast is in the wrong place. More to the front. Now, this might not actually make a difference, but at least I tried. But yeah. Join a more. It's not bad next to. I found that. Uh, I don't know how far you are, but when you're in Chernock, it's, there's definitely. You know, in most maps, you can sort of amble around and do whichever contracts you want as they come. But it seemed at the time when I did it for hard mod that there's kind of a set order <laughs> in which to do them. <laughs> I'm spending so long in that map. Alright. Let's give it a hoist. Uh, get over that boulder. Oh, it's, yeah. That fuel station. Um, I think it's on the, the, the east side of the map. That fuel station is so clutch at times. Ugh. Come on. Why does every truck in this map have collapsed suspension? It is moving. Oh, you've been watching my vids as a guy. Oh, thank you. Just just don't watch the bit where um, I end up throwing the Tatra Force down a gorge, trying to rescue the Khan Sentinel. <laughs> that was not a good moment. Well, not good for productivity, probably good to have a laugh at.
Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you got the car when you went to get the Zix. Ah, oh, yeah, I left it for last. And then spent, I think, about 40 minutes using the Zix with the heavy crane to try and pull the force out of the canyon. Just brute force in it. Uh, right, let me get on the grass a bit more. This thing is proven difficult to move. What if I've moved it, what, 20 meters so far? Oh, I might just grab hold of it and see if I can drive with it. So I'm going to end up falling over. Wedge it behind a tree. Yep, yeah, that is one option. Okay, there we go. I'm making a bit more progress, just directly connecting. The wheel smoke. Come on, just get to this bit of bit of clean ground. Couldn't leave it last because you know it's coming back. The of seven, the big crane carried the car the whole way back. Nice. Oh, plus there's the Azov 7 upgrade, the active suspension in Chernobyl events. Giving it a, a bit more usability. Right, um, I'm going to move. I don't think I've actually used the crane while tethered to another vehicle before. Ah, nope, there we go. That'll be why, because you can't. Why can't I pack cargo? Oh um, my, I, I wish I had the Azov 7 for, uh, for a more. Would have made some of the logging missions a lot easier. But no, I'm just the most silly rule set. Why can't I pack the cement? Okay. Can I pack it if I put it there? Oh, it's between the packing slots. What? Alright. Put it back. It's not even rotated around. Oh. Okay, game's just being the game. Oh, it's raining and foggy again, everybody. Right. So, we just have to go to here, and then it's tucking in. So, it's not far. Oh, I've used a lot of fuel. Ah, whoopsie. Oh, well, this was a mistake. Get out of that ditch. Man, is the handbrake just stuck on or something? Right, so yeah, it's going to have to be one of these. Oh, a bit more. I suppose you could technically bring repair parts, like fix the suspension. You didn't have to drag its chassis through the mud. But... Oh, 
The trees were a pain with the giant crate, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's why I left, um, I had the Tager 6436 with the vibra size unit on it, and tactically crashed it into the woods after finishing a mission. I think I left it there for about two months before, uh, taking it out. Another brute force from the Zix 605R with the crane. How bad is it in the village? I'm assuming raptor by your comment, um, it's not going to be great for me. Oh, at least the rain stopped. The map very rarely reflects what's actually going on. So I'm assuming going straight on and then left would be the easiest route. Muddy. It's lovely. That's why it's such a short journey, because it's awful. I might be a bit far there. Use the crane. <laughs> oh yeah, O'Neill. When the, when the guide doesn't quite end the way you think it will, um, maybe that's not a good idea. I will not follow in their footsteps. I suppose that I was doing um, a no recovery run as well. Uh, so I mean, you could do the same and then just hit recover. Yeah. Those drive wheels, but oh my god, the, I'd have killed the. Hang on. Um, the drive shaft should not. Oh, oh, the wheels on the right are spinning. I was gonna say. Didn't look how I was going anywhere. Uh, This is no, that will absolutely tip me over. Oh, this is gonna be just awkward, isn't it? To get the to get the boron through this gateway. Come on, little by little. We go. Bring it through, get the nose through. Let's get it from the front there. Nope, you're sliding. Eh. It's lucky that the save didn't come up when I closed the game. I'm back up. Oh. Right. Time to get her around the corner. I've only got 40 litres of fuel. Yeah, that was, I think, a wise assumption that uh, that was not going to have anything. Is this a trick I can keep? Um, I don't think so. Not for me anyway, because I'm um, doing no wheel drive or diff lock, but um, hey, you can buy it from level two. Oh, there's a scout fuel trailer over there. Let's go and get that. I'll also assess the, uh, the conditions. Oh, this bit doesn't seem too bad.
Oh, God, there wasn't much in there, was there? It wasn't full. Oh. What am I going to do when this challenge is over? Um, I don't know. I'll think of something more obscure, probably. <laughs> I don't know how far into the DLC maps I'll go. Cause, oh, my God. Tamiya is going to take me long enough. But if I can 100% the base game without using all-wheel driver diff lock, I think that'll be pretty good. Apart from on the Apache, which is basically for locations where this and other trucks, other big trucks can't get to. A new season is about to drop, and I have barely played the most recent one. Because it came out during my last offshore venture. Uh, come on. Alright, let's go. Oh, sugar. I got myself stuck. Oh, I was ideally wanting to go down the middle, but that is looking very difficult. So let's not do that. When? Didn't I just drive across this and it was fine? Or it's one of those, it's fine when you're moving. It's one of those, it's fine when you're moving. Oh, and that won't reach. Uh, oh no, have I managed to actually strand myself? Uh, right. Try and pull myself that way. For real, I just drove across the ground without any issues <laughs> to go get fuel. Did somebody change the ground while it was filling up? Oh, there's a horse. We whinnied. Right, the Voron is around the corner. Actually, I've got an idea. Depends how much it might cause me to potentially fall over. Right, I'm gonna winch on to there. It doesn't matter that I'm moving backwards, that's fine. I need to get this to a minimum distance. I need the arm to be able to lift. No, oh, you need to lift the sooner and not drag the bumper of the Voron under the flatbed. That might be enough, you know. Just what I'd like to try and do is put the front axle on the flatbed. But um the truck is the truck's too heavy. Right. Come on. I think that's too too much weight. Also some some dodgy angles as well. Ooh, there it's, yeah. It does not like the heavy vehicles, does it? Come on. <laughs> trying basically the various tricks I know in order to <laughs> maneuver this thing. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's such a drag. Oh, it's too it's too heavy. Oh no! Oh, we've got movement. Um, that is not what a crane is supposed to do. That's I'm not extending that. It's extended itself. Ah, oh, I just wish I could lift the front up. Well, this way it is. Good. And then adjust myself and then winch in a different direction. The crane must have got excited. It did. I was like, oh, a friend. Um, I should be winching from the front of the truck to not lose any. Um, not lose winch power. Can I. No. Move! Come on! What are you like, ground? Are you a bit more stable? <gasps> you are! Blessed is this ground. I can't... No, it's completely dead. It doesn't have any fuel either. Try and get the most convenient angle. Just give it a wiggle. <laughs> Alright. Because, yeah, if I winch from there, when the truck gets relatively close, um, the winch loses the power. But if I go from the front, I'll be able to tow it right into the back of me. Such grass helps all snowrunner drivers. Absolutely. Grass is the hero. Yeah. Ugh. There'd be so many add-ons that would be helpful. Yeah, even if... Um, Camille, if I could just, just slide the recovery bed just under the wheels enough to, to lift it. And good afternoon, sir. Oh, this looks, uh... Well, Raptor, you weren't kidding when, uh... Tell me about the ground conditions. They suck. Come on, a little bit more. Nearly there. Oh, some solid ground. Oh, we're we're engine high again. Okay, let me lower the arm. <laughs> The winch uh, does an okay job. Minimize that. Give it a good pull. Also, it saves the winch noise just playing all the time. Come on. 
Okay, I'm down to 18 suspension points again. Welcome to Russia. If your truck isn't strong enough to tow, it's not meant for pretty much. Um, right, I don't want to go. What I would like to kind of be is on this nice paved area. Can I get my crane through that gap? Or will there be a hitbox? Oh! Well, that's no fun. Alright, over the top it goes. I'm down 50 litres of fuel and I've, I've done about 40 metres. At least though, um, doesn't matter where the wire goes, the wire can go through anything. Let's not get too close. Alright, store. Oh, this looks like uh, the best mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I actually used the Voron to get me out of this. You reckon a Voron will kill the truck? Uh, yes, there are some of the snowy areas where this will fail horribly. I mean, it's not going to tow the rocket sled, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, I need to be over there. All it needs to do is just get the front past. I don't think it has the ground clearance, honestly, to uh, tow the rocket sled. Um, from Northern Agus installation, there's, uh, there's too many trees and like big, big boulders. That's if uh, that's if I'd even got that far without pulling my uh, hair out. Don't get the wheel stuck. Don't get the wheel stuck. Don't get the wheel stuck between the posts. We're nearly there. Oh, don't tell me it can't get up on the concrete. Lock. Right, I'll have to use the crane for that. How many times do I flick the crane out? And um, when I think of the atom, I really like it. I basically see the atom as uh, an upgraded as of six. Pretty much in any configuration, it can tow a trailer as well. And it's nice and powerful. Whoa! Yeah, this is this is how uh, this is how cranes work. No, get in the get in the box. No, I've missed the box. We did it. That took a long time. <laughs> Enjoying it? Oh, no, I'm in it. More and more. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a solid hauler. Good three slot cargo with a crane at the back. 
Uh, all right, so there's retired that I have to go and get, and drown truck. <sighs> Got there in the end. Can I escape the village by going this way? Now, fuel consumption and speed, I think. I think the Atom is based, is just based on the Azov 6 um, like frame and performance, just made a bit bigger. It seems to do what feels like the same speed. Oh, why didn't I just do this? <laughs> Ooh, I feel like that should have been a bit of damage. Let's see about whatever lost, what was it called? Lost and Forgotten. Round off the rest of my suspension points. Oh god, I left my ballast. Uh, I could go and get some more. Slightly different ballast, heavier ballast. Um, it's quite deep here, isn't it? Like the steer room would have that much impact on the the truck. There we go. Some movement would be nice. Why am I not moving? Come on. Because I've got no ballast. Thanks for reminding me, Raptor. Although I did leave my cement. This ballast might be a bit too much. But, yeah, vehicle spare parts is too light. Uh, but this way is five ton, so that should be plenty. Should probably drive a different truck at some point. It has kind of been the Transtar two hours so far. Oh, thanks, Chameleon. Appreciate it. The wig, <laughs> the wiggle steer prowess. It's it is the it is the technique. Found a hole in the ground. There we go. Get out of that. Right, where's the mission box? There it is. I even use wiggle in the farming sim. <laughs> Wait, is the one ahead of me not? Oh. Oh. Where is that? Oh, no, there's just no going across from this position. Fair enough. Well, repack. 
Maybe I could try and stick to the bit actually marked as a road. That might help. Because it might be alright. Uh, there was nowhere forwards for it to pull myself to. The water isn't very deep. I don't have high hopes, though. That's an interesting point. I put them in front of me. I put myself forward. Ooh. That's a very interesting way to uh, to look at that. I have to bear that in mind. But it um, turns out you could just drive the road a bit and that works. Um, You've got to talk it across the map. Uh... Oh. Oh. Water damages the truck. Might be able to use its engine. If I don't tip it over. Come on. Oh, I am in quite deep though. Yeah, I mean, the slightest press of the trigger and the wheels just auto-spin. That's, that's basically the telltale sign of, you need to use the winch. Hey Marvy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. I don't mind me just spinning the wheels in the dirt. It's fine. Um, you can't join. Sorry, this is a single-player game. See, there's no no other people playing. On a Wednesday, though, I do host. I've started to host um, co-op snowrunner sessions. So, if you're interested in playing with other people, you can join there. Uh, link to the Discord for that is. I hope in the description below. If it's not, then uh, whoops. Ah. All right, we're gonna try uh, Kim's suggestion here. Provided I don't fall over. Oh. I'd like to fall back down, please. Right. We're doing some quirky physics. Right, we've got it in front of us. <laughs> So then, but I can't drive like this though, but I can pull the winch. Wednesday is in Australia Wednesday, Wednesday is an American Wednesday or Australia's Thursday. <laughs> um, whatever the equivalent of Britain Wednesday, so it would be 
three and a half hours from now. Uh, it doesn't appear to be working, Kim, unfortunately. Or is it? Well, it do it, actually, because I'm trying to tow up, aren't I? So that's... Hang on. Right, bring that to a low point, like that. Because you can't attach the, tr attach the truck to cargo. The cargo is moving on its own. Uh, okay. It didn't help that the, the steel beams just decided to migrate towards the truck of their own accord. But we'll try it again. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of movement. But, uh, right, okay, let's get this back up board. I'm gonna rescue the rescue trip. The ground here is quite unstable. Right, let's whinny that around. This, this is this is how they do it on building sites and stuff. They just have the crane pointed in the opposite direction to the cargo and just pull the winch in. It's definitely what they do. And then land it sideways, perpendicular to the bed. Right, uh, let's get a rescue truck. So... Might have to rotate them so they don't flip. Uh, I've I'm not sure. I'm just going to get another vehicle to, to pull me out. Right. It's been a while. Let's actually use the Ford. Um, I'm going to give it some weight. A good way to do that is the fuel tanker. Uh, but yeah, O'Neill, um, 7.30 BST uh, on a Wednesday is when I've been hosting the co-op sessions. I've immediately got the Ford stuck because I cut a corner. Yes, that's what they need to do, um, Chameleon. They need to backport winch anchors. Um, from Expeditions into SnowRunner. They said they would do that that kind of thing. So, they really should, like, now. That, that Doing it now would be helpful for everybody. Mostly me. Hey, Gumika. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good weekend. New mic? Uh, no, uh, there's less stuff in my room at the minute. So there's a bit more of an echo, which is why I sound different. I haven't changed any sound settings on my... It's just the room has less stuff. All right, so it's going to be a bit of a trundle. Oh, yes, I didn't make... Um, I didn't update my rules. Thing. Blue paint makes it echo. Well, that's why I did the orange stripe to, to counter it. That and I'll just start sticking uh, egg boxes everywhere. Nah, I won't really. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put the stuff back in the room. Because I'm also now in the middle of the room as well. Some equidistant ish from the walls. Yep, no worries. I only will... I'll put a message together on the... I'll just... Um, I'll at you. 
don't know why, but when I join the live, it gets like three minutes behind. Uh, maybe refresh? I'm not seeing any issues from my side. Um, zero drop frames. I hope load speed's good. So I'm going to go in front feet first. This looks like the driest ground. How much closer do I have to get? Ooh, quite a bit. There we go. Right. Heave. If I... Uh, no, what I should do is unpack the metal beams, make the truck lighter, you know, help myself. Work smarter, not harder. Oh god. Oh, that's where the Transtor can't move, the wheel is wedged in. Well... Wonderful. Oh, there we go. Right. That should help. Oh, come on. Let me reverse out. Basically gone in where there's nothing to winch to either. Yeah, I'm un I'm unpacked. <gasps> oh, I've made a train. Yeah, I'm not too fussed between using the sideboard or the flatbed there, Ark. Um, Metal beams aren't falling off. <laughs> so the winch is connected from the back of the Transtar to the front. Uh, sorry, the back of the Ford to the front of the Transtar. And by driving in reverse and also winching. Um, why does that work? Why does that work? And yes, I do need to go and get the other truck. Whoops. Thank you. I mean, it's snow runner physics in a nutshell, though, isn't it? It's... close enough. Whoa. Go, we're doing some rolls. All right, a little bit more. Oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Uh, this, this, these, this truck is easier to tow. Oh, yeah, because I can actually lift the thing up. Oh. Now I look like a wrecker. Although I'm not going to get past the Ford, really, am I? Right. 
Pop that down there. Oh, it's landed on it. Come on. Is that gonna... Oh, that'll actually hold it. That's rare for mud. Right, let's get out of the way. Oops. That should be... That should be fairly home free. There we go. Oh, right, so just a bit of a trundle to the garage now, I guess. Or the train station. If CLT got a suspension upgrade, would it make a difference? Um, yes and no. Be, you know, be decent for ground clearance and stuff, but um, the higher sensor of mass uh, is always risky. Get a little zix. This little truck can have the um, wood loading crane on it, and it's terrifying to drive. <laughs> okay, it's having a great time back there. Oh, I've only got about four suspension points left. Don't go in the ditch. Oh, the engine works. Well, it might not anymore, but uh, it did. Oh, that's some back cornering. All right, this this is, it could be going worse. I have left that big rock there. That's that's mega the size of a wheel. Oh wow! Oh, the engine's to a critical state, so the gearbox is taking damage. I could tow it the other way around so this wouldn't happen, but. Uh, they didn't specify the condition that the vehicle had to be in. You've got to put that, you know. I put that in the, the fine print of the contract to sign before I accept these tasks. All you said was deliver to parking. You didn't say how, when, or why. Or even who. It is the small Zix, it's the baby Zix. It, for some reason, can have a logging crane. Oh, fo fo fo. Gotta go up and get the upgrade from over there at some point. Oh, oh god, it's a bit bumpy. Who what? When we're white? Colonel failure in the kitchen with the pipe. Yes. 
Wait, what? And the six or five hour can't have a, a large log trailer. Yep. It's, it's thing. You're just listing things that don't make sense. It's, uh, it's the snow runner way. Um, where was that other one? Oh, God, this. Well, how am I going to get to that? Oh, yeah, I've got Aquatic off the cliff and Drowned Truck. Still to accept and not even start. Uh, oh, and Last Light Trailer. So what's that? One, two. Um, three. Three more on top of what I've still got to do. No worries, no worries, Camille. Thanks for dropping by. Um, maybe I should do a the, the thingy. Two to the factory. One to the village. Sorry, that's the factory. Village. The farm all the way up there. Uh, wooden blanks delivered to the railway station. Oh, could I nip in and grab those? Common sense isn't common. No, uncommon sense. <laughs> Six medium logs. What? Six medium logs. Uh, where do you get? Oh yeah, I should I should know where you get cement from. I think it's ballast for most of the stream. Uh, so that's five, is it? So that's uh, that's a thingy. Oh, fossil, radioactive fossils. Yeah. Six medium logs. You mean bang them all in a saddle trailer? <laughs> I just load them up when I get there. Oh, that's six cargo. Convenient. Access the reach the northern road. Oh, is that for? I haven't even driven. Maybe I should drive into the quarry. Oh. Right. Well, I guess what I will do. Well, that road's difficult. Hmm. Drown truck's quite awkward to get to. Mm, right. I'm at the train station. Oh, God. Going through there is going to be awful. Right, I guess I've got to do lost bricks. Where's it going to? The village. At least I could grab a lost light trailer at the same time. Because it's just a little scout trailer. I can hoist. Hoist it onto the back. I'll keep this as ballast for now until I get the bricks. Hey Mario. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, why am I going this way? Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Get on the grass, madman. Thread the needle. Yes. I'm gonna go down the. Actually, I need. Um, I should probably have got two hit points on the suspension. Crane? There we go. I should heal up and refuel. That's it, it's the Transtar stream. The little truck that could. Right. Wouldn't recommend doing this sort of thing uh, in a map with limited cargo. You'll end up throwing stuff all over the place. 
Season 13 on the way and still no short lock trailer. Uh. I feel like it'd be fairly simple to make as well. It just enabled the medium carrier to carry both medium or short locks. <laughs> Same trailer. <laughs> Oh, do you see oh, the wheel angle? What point was that at? Or oh, 220. I'm going to have to see if I can get a screenshot of that frame where the wheel was essentially sideways on the truck. All uh, right, so I'm, I'm going this way, aren't I? Sure am. Quite a bumpy road. Oh, and it's very wet at the bottom. Right, okay. Oh, the suspension doesn't like that. No, I don't think the wheels are supposed to buckle and twist. Oh, don't roll over. Oh no, the, the, the sun's coming around. Oh. Okay, yeah, well there's a there's a lesson learned for getting through that. Isn't there the pit of water that's exceptionally deep along this road? Where it, it looks quite innocent, and then you dip a wheel in it and then it's up to the window of the cab. Um, do I have to... Yes, I have to go left. Or do I? What if I went that way? I'm small. I'm sure I could squeeze through. If not, I'd just come back. Excuse me, can you actually, like, go somewhere? This terrain is, uh, not good for this, uh, this kind of truck, turns out. Who, who'd have thunk it? Oh. Oh no! no. Ugh, caught it. Just. It's okay. We'll soldier on without it. Maybe it's for the greater good that we lost the metal beams. There's my gap in the trees.
Ugh. This is the... That's the road. I mean, I'd have been putting the metal beams down anyway. Right, gotta get the right alignment. So I'm not... <laughs> not risking tipping to any particular side. People need to stop losing their bricks. I mean, I can see why they've lost them, but let's get a better measure. Or just bring bricks a different route. You know, just, just spitballing ideas. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure, to, you know, the, the driver in the cabin would have just smacked into the roof of the cabin with a bounce like that. Hey, GL. Hope everything went well with your uh, prior engagement. And welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, this this is the kind of nonsense I'm talking about. Right, keep left. About to be frondled by a frondle. I don't particularly want to reverse into this. Right. Where is the lost trailer going? Oh, to the sawmill. Okay, it's not going far. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, though. Yeah, that's nice and close. Oh, it's foggy and wet. I mean, you guys can probably see actually more than me at the minute because of the sun glare I have behind me. Where's the road? It's probably not a question the driver should be asking. But here we are. Come on. Get up there. Flip me over. Let's see if I can just get that trailer just on board. Even if it's just um, hanging, hanging on. Oh, you missed the longest recovery of uh, a vehicle ever, Sam. <laughs> the war on D, in the wet farm. Done two vehicle recoveries. Um, well, that's that's gonna fall off while I get around this corner. That's not the angle I want. Or the position. Come on, come on! I 
I wish I could see. <laughs> yep. What is that cable made of? But now I have a problem. Oh, wait, the bricks aren't packed. What? Oh, yeah, I just nearly tipped over. It's, it should be quite obvious. Oh, thanks, camera. Right, <laughs> that'll do. Get the minimum, uh, well, to the absolute maximum distance. We'll just hope for the best. Oh, we bookaroo around. Still can't see. Right. That'll do until I need to quick winch. Hang on, I can't see the ground. <laughs> Oh, wow. Am I... How far away am I? Oh my god, I'm miles. I'm miles and I've got to go across that. Um, I might have to... I'll get to there, see if I can assess going a slightly different way. Let's take a look at the driver's eye perspective. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not great. Right, if the trailer would just stay balanced on the back, I will... Uh, yeah, this is fine. That winch is earning itself. <laughs> I still got the bricks! Oh, the, okay, the bricks have fallen off. The main thing is we got around the corner. Alright, let's get this back on. Uh, yeah, that's about loaded, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Bring this trailer back again. I mean, it's just going to keep falling off, so I'll just uh, haul it behind me. Oh, I should have put the bricks on the trailer and then packed the trailer. That actually would have been a fairly smart move. Oh, no, I couldn't. I can't pack. The small trailer. I can't hitch to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't see any issues there, Raptor. I, <laughs> All right. Oh, I've sat too long in the, the goddamn fog. Could it just not be foggy for five minutes? <laughs> Genuinely, is it forward? Is that the way I'm going? Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Get the trailer again. Right, fight. You know what? Right, pack cargo and um, restore the crane. Oh 
Oh, all right. Uh, hi, Sylvia. Welcome, welcome. Greens from Vegas. Oh. Bet it's hot. It's forward the way I'm going. Yeah, I think if any driver asked that, I would. Uh, I would. Right, um, I, I think I can make it to the other road, cutting across here very aggressively. Ah, well, at least there's a big tree there. Ah. Wonderful. Yes, Silvio. Ah, it all makes sense now. Yes, we'll be doing another one this week. Um, next week, I don't know. I'm due to go away for work again soon. My current estimation of travel is about 20th of April. So then there will be a, a break to all things channel related again. The weather. Ah, you're leaving for London this Friday. Oh, I bet that's a long flight. What am I doing? <laughs> Using the crane. Just use the winch, man. Why can't I move? No. So it's not that deep. Oh, I'm all wheel spinning. Oh, that is not good. All wheel spinning here is not good. Pull the front around. Oh, that was close. Oh, I know what I can do. Take the crane and get it close enough. It's a tree there. I've only had to, to do this a few times before, but the times I've done it, it's worked like a charm. Just push yourself. Or at least rock yourself. It's a shame that you can't drive the wheels while using the crane. And would you look at that? <laughs> Freedom. I was just moving! He's put glue on my tires. I went from able to move to stuck in an instant. This hacks. Right, I need to put that away as quickly as possible and attach. Seriously, what's going on? Like, I get to the point where I can move, I stop for a split second, and then I can't move again. Oh no. Can I get any drive from the wheels? No. Don't fall over.
Let's pull down the biggest tree in the forest. Come on, nearly there. I've just got to go a few feet. Where's that connected? That's no good. Try and get a bit more weight on board. Maybe I can use the game's odd physics engine by pushing down with the crane and the trailer on the back of the truck. That'll give me a bit of weight to play with? No. I'm just, that's free spin, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's not looking good. With nothing in front of me, substantial enough. Ah, oh, not again. Well, looks like it's rescue time once more. Hey, capture with sub who? Oh, when it's raining and foggy. Uh, not right now, you can't. No, if you join the Discord, though, on a Wednesday evening, British summertime, host co op sessions. Oh man, see the difference when you don't have any weight on the wheels? I'm trying to drive this thing as gently as possible, but because the engine has so much power. Yes, check the uh, description below for the Discord, where on Wednesdays, at least for the next week or two, because um, I'm going away for work, I'll be running SnowRunner co-op. But not this, not this particular one. This is single player, this is live. Man, I wish I could see. If you don't see anybody in, like, playing co-op at the time, then I, that's, it's not a co-op game. This is a challenge run. Oh god, that's bad. Not too easy to approach this bridge coming from the other direction. If anything, I've got to come down that hill. Oh, that's also not good. That's... This is why we don't typically use the bridge. Right, 
gentle in the mud. Should have the beans to get itself out. It's got to turn a bit more. No, wood is too slidey. Because of all that random fog. There we go. Enough for that little tree just to pull us slightly around to the left. Hey Chrissy! Oh, I saw your um your ender roll video pop up. So I've got it open. I just need to give it a watch. And good afternoon. There we go. Oop, too much speed. Let's see if we can rescue the Trance Star once again. Oh, it's actually oh, a hot day today. I suppose, oh, while I'm going this way, I could look into grabbing aquatic. aquatic. No doubt that's going to end up making me get stuck. It's right in the middle. Rescue the trans star first. Uh, fight. So that's straight on. Also, Chrissy, um, a quick question. Have you genuinely completed Skyrim 400 times? That is in, as in playthroughs, or... Like, how many accounts do you have? straightforward for me. Oh, I can feel the physics going a bit weird. When the camera sort of stretches back, your speed is getting a bit too high. Uh, right, no, I want to be... Front wheels in. Get the drive wheels on the tough stuff. Oh, I should probably <laughs> reset the crane. It's probably like in the ground. It sure is. That's not going to be helping matters. Um. trailer. Alright. Oh, why didn't I do that before? Uh, hindsight. 2020. Am I right? Uh... Right. 
forward a bit. There's the ticket. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's where I immediately tip over. Oh, like that. Oh, we saved it. <laughs> that was close. See? Steering into the fall saves you. All this just to deliver this stupid trailer. <sighs> right, Let's deliver, deliver the bricks. Come out, turn right, and then right again. I should get on the cliff. Oh my god, I can actually see where I'm going. I know which way forwards is. It's a miracle. Ah, like somebody left their uh, their ballast <laughs> on the hillside. Come on. Wriggle, wriggle steer past that rock. Never normally come up this way, so it's never been a problem before. Oh, man. Oh. Like I've been here before already today. Just because we have. We've got the um the what's it called? Was it a Don? No, it wasn't a Don. It was the other little scout. Yep, oh god. Yeah, the eye the angle. Um, oh. oh, they don't have a way through. Can I? Yeah, I'm going to go this way. And this is where I get stuck as well. In the pumpkin patch. Beep, beep, coming through. Sorry about your allotment that I'm completely destroying. Oh, why have I stopped? These pumpkins are really hard. Oh no, I've got a barrel under me, or several. Where did they come from? Oh, right, there's another one done. Where's the Hummer? Oh, yeah, it's all the way over there. Uh, right, so... I'm gonna put a waypoint on off the cliff. 
Because when I've tried to drive past it, I've missed it. Can I drive over this debris? <laughs> the answer would be no. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard tarpaulin. Um, hello? Can I get some traction? Ah, pumpkins! Yeah, drown truck. There's a few still to get. I don't think I have that achievement. Nor will I have the one for using the P12 to deliver cargo. Hey, F Gen. this mission. This is a Don 71. Oh, hang on, there we go. Put it in reverse, it'll stop moving. Rest oh, is that it? Uh, am I going to be able to reverse out? Maybe? Probably not. To get it into a more workable spot. Right, oh, silly boulder. Uh-oh. No! I don't want to have to go over the boulder. Oh, I... I'm sliding. Which means no matter what I do, I end up driving over the boulder. I don't think that was the play either. No, you don't want to. Oh. Well, this one had a good run. It's going to sit there for a while. <laughs> I should collect the outstanding tasks before the end. Or else, essentially, I'll just forget. Right, where is Aquatic? Man, if you could see my face right now, the face I'm pulling at the distance to that task. Okay, is that another Don? Thank God I'm not using my sort of no recovery um, modifier. Winch it is. Oh, 
This truck might have a short wheelbase, but it really rides low. Right, what's this going to be for? Aquatic. Restore. I think it would have more chance of pulling a mythical sword from a mythical storm. First, we need to repair. I guess approaching it from the other side is going to be easier. Although, I should be able to work my way out and just winch it to the road. Oh, perfect. Why do people keep leaving small cars everywhere? In a completely destroyed state. Alright, expedite this. Oh, we've got a bush stuck in the grill. Wow, the Don was actually pulling the Western Star forward. Um, so four wheels, so I'm going to need... I used to do both at once. I'm going to need, like, a van... A maintenance... Basically, two maintenance trailers. So the, or a maintenance and a van body. Just thinking ahead. Shimmy. Oh, I thought it would just pull me around, but nope, it just pulled me straight back. We'll get this out of here. And then I'll go and grab the mission for the stranded other one. The other Voron. There's apparently no one in this map could drive. Oh no. It's stuck on a tree, and it's no longer stuck on a tree. Wonderful. Come on, truck, you got this. You can get out of this mud on your own merit. Right? Right? Nope, not quite. You're listening too, Dan, too close to that tree. Get, don't touch the tree. Don't get stuck on the tree. Good. The other Don, I th maybe I can just fix it on the spot. I don't know. Leave it there. 
is uh, off the cliff. Yeah, it just says restore the dawn. So as long as I get the parts there. Oh, at least the wheels on that one are intact. Uh, right, so where is the... God, it's all the way over here. Um... Oh, but going through there is rubbish. Oh, it's foggy again. Fight. Uh, make the back end heavier. That's weight, but doesn't reduce power to weight. Ah, oh, that's what's that or nothing. Because at least this would actually be able to fix that Don. In which case, we went across there and then that way. Oh man, that's still quite far. Alright, yep. I'm going straight for the, uh, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to go straight for the waypoint. I'm not taking more damage yet. Oh, that. There we go. This, this is so much fire. Which, um, if anybody knows, actually, if you could change, like, map files to just always clear. You know, the same way you can do that in the map in uh, photo mode. Okay, I get it. I'm taking damage. Oh, I saw that one coming. I'm. <clears throat> so I mentioned that I hadn't taken damage, and now I'm at fifty percent suspension, nearly. Yet. Yeah. Even the fuel tank took damage. Uh, I believe. Yeah, if I can cut through, that's the quickest way. Come on, Western Star, show that power. Okay, we have a new way into this area. <laughs> Let's just dip a wheel into there, fully repaired. Yeah, I know I right, rap too. It's just just driving. Nah nah nah, you take loads of damage now.
Oh no, that's a huge rock. Um, left, then a quick right. This is very brave. Or very stupid. Depends which way you want to look at it. Alright, so, hang on, before I go slamming into a tree. Take it easy from here. Drown truck. Oh, it's a restoration. My, I'm not going to be close enough, am I? Alright, that should be close enough. While I'm here, I can at least make a start on it. Uh, not close enough. <laughs> I don't even have enough wheels. Well, at least I can put the field in. So the maintenance frame, it's a bit rubbish. 300 points of repairs. Like, why? Just take a tanker. But anyway, that is where I'm going to have to leave it for today. I know part way through a task. Next time I will finish those four. Then I think I'll have, I think we'll have completed them all task wise. And then it'll be contracts time and whatnot. Where are we at? 17% in six hours, actually. It's not bad. Six hours total for Tame here. So, yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you have enjoyed and you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you want to support me more, there's a membership option as well. But yes. Um, enjoy SnowRunner. Um, I will be around again, not quite sure. There'll be some Season 12 this week, hopefully. So yeah, thank you very much, and bye-bye.